Good morning. Hi, friends. Welcome to this live morning class. I'm just going to copy a playlist into chat in case you would like to listen to some music. It's just an option. I can see some people joining. Could you give me a quick feedback for the sound in the chat if you can hear me well? Wonderful. Perfect. Thank you so much. So welcome to this morning flow. We have about 45 minutes together to really activate uh, and awaken the body. We will do some twisting to really stimulate the flow of energy. We will do some heart opening to invite in a lot of good energy to start our day. And I think we can get started right away. I will go back onto my mat. Today, you don't need any specific props. If you happen to have a yoga block, you can use it. If you maybe have a rolled up blanket handy, just in case you need some support here and there, that could be practical, but it's really just optional. I will show you everything without any props. Good. Let's get started today laying down on our backs and you can have your feet facing to the top of the mat. So you lay down on the back, kind of like you know it from the end of the class in a relaxed Shavasana pose. And no worries, we will not stay too long. I don't want you to fall back asleep, but I do want you to invite a feeling of grounding and of arrival. So give some space to your legs and maybe place your hands onto the belly. Feel free to close the eyes or rest the gaze and allow your muscles to relax just for a moment so you can sink deep into the ground. Feeling that connection to the floor, that stability. And feel yourself arriving here in this moment. Take a moment to observe your breathing, your natural breath as it comes in and out through the nose. Observe that subtle movement that comes with the breath, like a very smooth way. Good, and then start to deepen your breath and try and inhale all the way into the belly where you can feel the warmth of your palms and try and inflate the belly, really fill it with a lot of air as you inhale. And as you exhale, feel the belly sink down, relaxing and lowering. A couple of deep belly breaths. Into the belly, really expand. And exhale, relax the belly, let it lower. Inhale, belly rise. Exhale, belly lower. And then go ahead, inhale through the nose, full belly breath. And then purse the lips as if you wanted to whistle and blow the air out. Do this for a couple of times. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through purse lips as if you were breathing against uh, resistance. So you feel how the belly button actively pulls down towards the spine. Let's do one more like that. Deep inhale through the nose. Forceful breath out. And then release any effort and return to your natural breath. Feel free to keep the eyes closed as you pull the right knee up to your chest. Grab a hold of the shin with both hands. Interlace the fingers around the leg. Pull the knee in, but press the lower back into the ground. And then lift your head up, bring the nose to the knee and breathe the belly against the thigh. So you're still breathing into the belly. Yeah, let's take another full breath here. And then lay the upper body back down, stand your feet up on the mat, pull the left leg up. And once you have grabbed a hold of the shin, then you can slide the right heel away. The right leg is long, press the lower back into the mat, lift the head. Nose to knee, breathe into the belly, low back is pressing into the ground. Really have the sensation of massaging your belly against the thigh. And then release the upper body back down, bring also the right knee up so you have both knees closed. Be 
hugged into the body and rock a bit from side to side, massaging the lower back. And then rock a bit from front to back. You want to round the back and take a bit of momentum. If this doesn't feel good for you, for some people it just doesn't, you can just come onto one side. If this feels good, take a few more rounds, enjoying this massage along the spine. And then with a bit of momentum, the next time you roll up, cross the shins and come into an upright cross-legged seat. Good. Take a moment to join your palms. And close the eyes or lower the gaze. Feel that first activation in the body, maybe in the groins, in the belly. And maybe take a moment to set an intention for this practice. Yeah. And then bring your hands back onto the knees. Lean the upper body forward in a half circle, opening up the chest. And then over the side, lean it back. We're coming into very generous, big Sufi circles. So as I said today, we will be doing a lot of twisting and heart opening. So we're really stimulating the front of the body. So as you move through these generous circles, feel free to close the eyes and really focus on the center of the body. Allow the whole abdominal area to relax and be stimulated. A massage here. Good. And you can decide yourself if these circles are rather little and the spine rather upright, or if you're really giving into it and taking the shoulders along, the neck along. This can be very intuitive. And then without stopping too abruptly, make sure you change direction and circle the other way around. Good. And then imagine those circles becoming a bit smaller and circling your way up the spine. So first you circle around the area of the low belly and then around the area of the navel. And you can kind of imagine that you're placing each, for each vertebra <clears throat> on top of the previous one. So you circle around the area of the stomach and then the heart, the throat, until you're arriving all the way in a long spine, tailbone pulling down to the earth, crown pulling up to the sky. And then move your hands into the shins. And as you inhale, lift the heart forward, pull the shoulders back, gently arch the back, open the throat if your neck feels okay. And then as you exhale, round the back, hang onto the arms, roll towards the tailbone and open the back side. Good. We do this with the breath, kind of cat-cow movement and sitting, inhale, expansive movement. Exhale, draw the navel in and pull the shoulder blades apart. Yeah. So two more. Inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, round. Inhale, sit up, open up. And exhale, roll it back. Open the back side of the heart. On your inhale, come into a straight back. Sit up right. Take your arms along over the side. Reach the arms all the way up. I'm going to turn to with you. As you exhale, twist to the right side. Very gentle twist here. Sit a bit taller as you inhale. And as you exhale, pull the right shoulder back. One more breath here. Inhale, find that length. Lift the heart. Exhale, open up the chest. Inhale, come back to the center, reach the arms up, give yourself a nice big stretch and exhale, twist to the second side. Yeah. Take an inhale here and exhale, twist. One more inhale and exhale. Good. Inhale, send the arms up to the sky. Exhale, bring the arms over the side and bring the hands underneath the knees and stand the feet up in front of you. For a moment, focus on lifting the heart, lengthening the spine. And then with a long back, lean back until your feet come off the ground for a soft boat pose, which means for now, if you want, you can keep the hands in the back of the knees. If you feel stable, you can also extend the arms forward, but make sure your chest is open, your spine is long, and you're keeping that easy flow of breath, that softness in the jaw and the facial muscles. Let's take one more breath here. Feel the activation in the body. And then cross the shins, right chin in front of the left one. Pull the heels in and with a bit of momentum, roll over the toes and step back into a downward facing dog. Take a moment to enjoy your first downward facing dog by pedaling the legs generously. 
sending the heels alternately down towards the ground. Maybe even bring the knees a bit from side to side so your hips become a bit of movement, your low back. And then bend the knees even a bit more. Send the hips further up, lengthen through the arms, broaden the shoulders. And draw that lower belly in and up as if you wanted to pull it behind the navel up to the heart and feel how that lengthens the spine from the inside. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, lion's breath, tongue out. Dare to make a sound. Take another inhale. And again. Good. And the inhale, come onto the tiptoes. Roll your way forward into a high plank, shoulders over wrists. As you exhale, bend the knees, send the hips back up, long back, Adho Mukha, downward facing dog. Inhale, slowly roll forward. You can think like rippling the spine, a bit cat-like with the back. And exhale, downward facing dog. We do one more. Try and come with the breath. Inhale, let it lift you forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come into your plank pose. Now stay for your exhale, broaden the chest, the shoulder blades. One more time, inhale. And exhale, send the knees down, lower all the way onto the belly. The arms stay close to the body. Point the toes, inhale, come into a cobra pose. And exhale, lower the forehead down. Let's do one more, inhale, roll up for your small cobra. And exhale, bring the forehead down, tuck the toes in it, press onto the knees. And exhale, send the hips back and up. Take a full breath in and a relaxing breath out. Lift your right leg up for a three-legged dog. Guide your movements. As you exhale, bring the right knee to the right upper arm and just tap and squeeze without setting the foot down. Good. Again, inhale, come back up and see a three-legged dog. And then exhale, right knee to the left upper arm across the body. Take your time. Inhale, bring the leg back up. And exhale, pull the knee forward. We stay here for the inhale. Pull the knee higher. And and the exhale, step the foot down. Good. Inhale, reach only the right arm up for your easy twist. Now we stay for a moment, feel that long line from one hand to the other, stack your shoulders, open the chest. Good, one more breath here. And then bring the right hand back down, bring the left knee down, look forward as you reach the arms up for Anjaniyasana, low lunge, sweep the arms up towards the ceiling and then drop the shoulders as you arrive. Inhale here. And exhale, bring the arms over the side, interlace all 10 fingers, pull the shoulder blades together, lift the heart. Always try and lift those lower ribs a little bit so you don't feel like you're actually contracting the low back a lot, but you're lifting the heart. Feel free to pull the hips back if your low back feels tight. Take one more awakening breath into the chest here. And then on your next inhale, sweep the arms up. And on the exhale, guide the hands down, release the back knee, try without sliding. We step into a plank pose, take an inhale. And on the exhale, we will lower again. You can use the knees as before or lower down in one piece if you feel stable doing that. Inhale, tops of the feet press down, heart forward, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a releasing breath out. Inhale, lift your left leg up into the air. Exhale, left knee, left upper arm, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, back into three-legged dog. Long, smooth breaths over to the right side across the body. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to chest. Once again, stay and try really pressing away from the ground. And then step the foot through. Lift the left arm up. Open the chest to the side. Easy twist. Good. Keep breathing. And then from here, bring the left hand down. Bring the right knee down. Lift the heart forward. Bring the arms up. Anjani Asana. And settle into the pose. You can always cushion your knees if you feel they're grinding into the floor. And you reach the fingertips up towards the ceiling. 
And then from here, bring the arms behind the body. Interlace one finger further as you have before and lift the heart up. Once again, feel free to change the position of your hip so you feel okay in your lower back, but find that opening sensation in the front body. Good. And then on the inhale, sweep the arms up. On the exhale, bring the hands down. Step back into your plank pose. And then on your exhale, lower with or with the knees all the way or maybe half if you practice Chaturanga. Inhale, come through your back bend, cobra or up dog. And exhale, come back into your downward facing dog. Take a breath in. And feel free to side out. Bend the knees, look forward. Walk to the top of the mat. You can keep the knees super soft and arrive here. Allow yourself to give in, fold into gravity. Neck is heavy and long. And then come into the fingertips as you inhale, bend the legs, lengthen through the spine for half lift. And one more time, lower all the way. Inhale, come onto the fingertips, half lift. Exhale, reach the right arm up, and you may want to lift the left heel and bend the leg. This will give you more space to find again that long line from one hand to the other, long line in the spine. Breathe. Right heel is rather pressing down, but if that's a lot for the back of the leg, keep it a bit softer. And on your next exhale, fold all the way down, release. Inhale, half lift, long back. And then change the side, your left arm goes up. Maybe you lift the right heel to give yourself a bit more space for that opening to the side. And on your next exhale, release down, forward fold. Bend the knees as you stand up. We sweep the arms over the side, gather loads of breath, loads of energy, life force. As you exhale, draw it to your center. And then release the arms alongside the body. Once again, inhale, bring the arms over the side. Exhale, fall through the center. Keep the knees soft. Inhale, half lift, long back. And exhale, step back and lower. With or without the knees, all the way or half. Any of these options are fine. And you can also skip and go straight into your down dog. Whatever it is that you need this morning. Take a full breath in as you arrive. Releasing breath out. Lift your right leg up into the air for three-legged dog. Take a big step forward. Bring the shoulders along. High lunge as you inhale. Sweep the arms up. And as you exhale, twist to the right. So right arm goes behind the body. Left arm goes forward. And then sweep both arms up with the inhale. Find a fluid movement. Exhale, twist. Draw the navel in. Again, inhale, high lunge. Look forward. Exhale, twist. Last time, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, twist. Now we stay, either keep the arms parallel to the floor or bring the right hand onto the left hamstring. Left palm turns up and you pull that arm up towards the ceiling so you feel a lengthening in the left groin. Full breath here. Bring the arms back parallel to the ground. Guide the left hand down underneath the left shoulder. Right arm goes up. We're back in the easy twist. Take a breath here. And then turn all toes to the right side. Lift the hips until you can feel a bit of a pull in the outer right bum. Take a breath here. And then from here, either keep the foot where it is for support or step the right foot onto the left one for your side plank pose. Option to reach the right arm over your head, wherever your feet are. Take a full breath in. And on your exhale, come with care into your plank pose. Take another inhale. We never want to rush. Exhale, lower all the way or half. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. And a long breath out. Lift your left leg up into the air. Big step forward between the hands. High lunge, inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. Find that fluidity, inhale, raise up. Exhale, twist, left arm goes back, right arm forward, again, inhale. Exhale. 
Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, twist, and we stay. Either keep the arms the way they are or left hand onto the right hamstring. Right arm pulls up. You don't need to lean back, but rather lengthen through those right fingertips and feel that pull in the right groin, how the front body opens. And then bring your arms parallel to the floor. Guide the right hand down. Left arm goes up. Easy twist. Full breath here. And then turn all toes to the left side. Come onto the outer edges. Lift the hips so you feel a bit of opening in the outer hips. And then stay or place the foot in front of the hip for support or left foot onto the right one side plank. Just an option would be reaching the left arm forward, opening the side body a bit more. And then with attention, with care, come back to your plank pose. Choose your flow or skip it, go straight into your downward dog. When you feel your shoulders are getting tired, give yourself a rest. Go into your down dog or maybe child's pose. I'm not sure I'm demonstrating child's pose. Hips go back, arms can stay forward. Grounding breath here. Whenever you feel like it, you can visit this pose without me mentioning it. And once you're ready, or if you're still in your down dog, then look forward, maybe come onto the tiptoes, bend the knees in preparation. Look forward, you can step or hop to the top of the mat. Reach the heart forward. And then fold over your legs as you exhale. Good. Inhale, come to standing. Take your arms over the side. Reach it up. And as you exhale, bring your hands together in front of the heart and next to the body. Roll your shoulders up as you inhale. And bring them back and down as you exhale. Sit back for a chair pose. Draw the low belly in. Reach the arms forward. Your back is nice and long. And then as you exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, lift the heart up. Exhale, step back for your flow. So going down to the mat with or without the knees, or again, find your way into the down dog. We're still kind of in a heating sequence here, really warming up the whole body. You can feel the energy flowing. And then lift your right leg up once you're ready, three-legged dog. Big step forward as you exhale. High lunge, sweep the arms up. And we'll once again twist as we exhale. From here, bring your hands together in front of the heart. Lean forward, bring the left elbow into the outside of the right knee and try not collapsing into that left shoulder, but open up the chest. Option would be to bring the knee down. If you'd rather just focus on the twist and the balance is challenging a bit today, then just stay here and breathe. Feel how you're lengthening through the spine as you inhale. How you find a bit more space as you exhale. On your inhale, come back into your high lunge. And then we move on onto warrior two. Left heel goes down, arms go out to the side. Just going to turn to the camera. Stay and breathe. Your right knee is pointing forward and your tailbone is going underneath the body. Pubic bone lifts. Arms are parallel to the ground. And maybe you look over your front hand. Take a full breath here. As you inhale, straighten the front leg. Keep a bit of a bend in the knee. As you exhale, pull yourself forward and down for your triangle pose. Bring the right hand onto the shin. Let the left fingertips pull up towards the ceiling. Only maybe pull the arm over your ear. If you feel like this gives you more space, if you feel like this makes you collapse into the pose, then rather have the fingertips pull up. Take a full breath here. Bring the left hand into the hip and pull the shoulder back a little bit more. You have the option to stay here if this is plenty for you or you bend the front leg a lot. Bring the right fingertips down, maybe you have a block. Walk the back foot in until you can slowly press up onto the right leg for half moon balancing pose. Reach the left arm back up if you feel stable. And if it's wobbly today, that's completely fine. Just stay very neutral in your thoughts. Stay curious towards the experience and know that it's just a practice. There's no performance here today. And then bend the right leg slowly, slowly step the left foot far behind you. In see your warrior two. Stay for the exhale. Peaceful warrior, float the upper body back. Stay for the exhale. 
inhale here and exhale windmill the hands down to the ground step back into your plank pose maybe you do this on one leg if you practice chaturanga on one leg and then flow through your vinyasa go straight into your down dog i'll turn back to the top of the mat we'll meet in the downward facing dog and then lift your left leg up into the air big step forward between the hands high lunge as you inhale twist to the left as you exhale yeah bring the palms together in front of the heart bring the right elbow into the outside of the left knee and open up the chest option to bring the right knee down whatever feels best for you today and just take two more full breaths And then look down to the mat as you inhale, sit, come back upright into your high lunge. And then as you exhale, open for that warrior two. You know, rotate the thighs out, knee is pointing forward. Find a lot of length in the spine, a bit of stability in the legs. Take another full breath. And then as you inhale, straighten the front leg. As you exhale, pull yourself forward and come down for your triangle shape. Pull the upper shoulder back. Feel free to reach the arm forward if that feels good for you to open up more space in the body. It's just an option. And you can support yourself with the left hand, but try not collapsing and bringing all the way down. Rather pretend like you're standing up. Feel the upper body engage. Bring your right hand into your hip. Open the chest a bit wider. Feel free to stay or look down for your half moon. Bend the front leg a lot. Left hand walks forward. Right foot walks in until you can slowly press up. Rather take a couple more breaths to find your balancing posture than rushing into it. It will be much harder to catch the balance. You always want to remind yourself of the qualities that you want to cultivate in your practice. Be patient and be kind to yourself and do not judge or evaluate. Even in the moments of loss of stability or of challenge. And then very patiently, slowly bend the left leg, step the right foot far behind you, warrior two as you inhale. Stay for the exhale. Peaceful warrior as you inhale. Stay for the exhale. Inhale here. And exhale, windmill the hands down. Step back once again, choose your favorite flow or go into your down dog or option for the child's pose. Whatever feels best for you. You can always take these moments when I'm mentioning your choice to really do what feels good for you. You can withdraw from the screen and just tune into your body. What do you need? Do you need movement? Do you need stillness? Good. Well, let's meet in the downward facing dog. Look towards the top of the mat and then slowly walk, step or hop to the top of the mat for your forward fold. And then let the upper body dangle for a moment. High, half lift on the inhale. Exhale, bring the bum back, draw the lower belly in. We're building up for a really stable chair pose. Reach the arms forward. And you want to draw that low belly in. Keep it nice and alive. And then bring the hands together in front of the heart. Twist the upper body to the right side. Left elbow onto the outside of the right knee and open up the chest. Again, try and find that broadness in the chest that space length in the spine good stay low in the hips as you come back to center reach the arms up forward and then bring the hands together in front of the heart for second side twist over to the left side right elbow to the outside of the left knee try and level your hips try and open the chest feel all that energy in the legs and then come back to the center, hips are still low. We wanna try and come and sit down. So bring the arms forward, belly onto the thighs, push the knees forward, bring the bum towards the heels, the, the chin between the knees, make yourself all small and bound. If you feel the floor is very far away or this doesn't work for your knees, just use the hands for help. We will sit down in a very gentle way. Once you arrive, pull the heart up. Lean back for your boat pose, low legs parallel to the ground. Feel free to support yourself with the hands or extend your legs for the second round. But you want to make sure your back 
is nice and long. I'm gonna stay here. <laughs> so go ahead and breathe into your pose. Keep that softness in the jaw and the throat and the breath. And then cross the shins, this time left chin over the right one, pull them in, roll over the feet, and then step back. You can either take a flow or go straight into your downward facing dog, whatever feels best for you. Take a full breath in whenever you have arrived. And a releasing breath out. Inhale, roll your way forward into a plank pose. And exhale, with or without the knees, lower all the way onto the belly. Inhale, come into a small cobra. Exhale, release the hands and interlace the fingers behind the back. Draw the shoulder blades together and bring the hands away from the body. Now, if your low back feels very tight today, then open the legs a bit wider. But really press the tops of the feet down and the pubic bone down. Try and breathe into the chest. Keep the neck nice and long. And I know the breathing in the back bends is always a bit harder, but try and find that smooth breath, filling your chest with new energy. One more here. And as you exhale, you can release the arms alongside the body, bring the head to one side, or you can also support the forehead and just take a releasing breath here. From here, press the backs of the hands into the ground next to your body. Roll the shoulders back, lift the chest one more time, and then lift the legs of the ground. You have the option to stay in this locust pose today. Maybe you want to bend the legs and grab a hold of the ankles or the feet for your bow pose. It's just an option, whichever back bend works for you today. To really feel like you're opening the front side of the body, activating the back side of the body. Take two more full breaths. And then slowly release. Maybe wiggle your hips a bit from side to side. If you're feeling any tension in the lower back, then bend the legs and drop the lower legs from side to side, kind of in a windshield sweeper motion to release any tension from the back. And then place the hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, and you can come through a vinyasa or straight into your downward facing dog, whatever works. In the downward facing dog, you walk the feet in about one length of the feet, so we just shorten the dog. Release the left hand, twist the upper body to the right side, grab a hold of the right outer ankle or shin wherever you reach, but keep the right arm nice and long. Breathe into this twist. Bring the left hand forward, exchange the sides. And then bring the right arm forward and then walk the feet back or the hands back forward so you find that length again in your downward facing dog. Good. Take an inhale, reach the right leg up, very last standing pose for today. Exhale, pull the knee forward and come back up on the inhale into your high lunge. As you exhale, bring the hands together in front of the heart, lean forward, draw the low belly in. We find our way into our warrior three. And again, take your time. Left toes are pointing down now, the chest is open, and we keep breathing. Let's take another full breath here. And then slowly bring the fingertips down. Take a bit of a half forward fold as you inhale. And as you exhale, fold over that standing leg. If the floor is far away, just bend the leg more, or maybe use a block if you have one. And only maybe if you feel stable, bring the right hand onto the right ankle, pull yourself a little bit in. You can lift the left heel, but try not opening the hip, but rather keep the left toes pointing down. Let's take another full breath. And then from here, listen closely. We bend both legs. Left knee comes into the outside of the right ankle. We wanna spiral down, sit in between the heels for our seated twist. Now, if this didn't quite work for you, I'm gonna break it down. Left leg is long, right foot steps over, and you can keep the left leg long or you fold it in. You twist the upper body towards the right leg, bring the right fingertips behind you just very gently. We don't wanna lean onto the hand. Both sit bones are grounded. Inhale, reach the heart a bit higher. And exhale, twist to the side. Good. 
Take a couple of conscious breaths, keep the face relaxed. And then on your next inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, gift yourself a little counter twist. This should feel good. And then lean onto the hands, cross the shins, roll over the feet, step back, either take a vinyasa, a flow, or come straight into your downward facing dog. This would be your last vinyasa if you feel like it. And then once you're ready, lift your left leg up. Big step forward as you exhale. High lunge as you inhale. And then hands in front of the heart as you exhale, lean forward, take your time, slowly press onto the left leg, right toes are pointing down, and you reconnect with your breath. Slowly bring the fingertips onto the ground, maybe bend the standing leg to reach, inhale, take kind of a half forward fold. And exhale, draw the belly in softly, fold over the standing leg, maybe one more. To me, they always give me a lot of space, those little spinal waves. And then stay or maybe grab a hold of the ankle with your left hand. It's just an option. And then bring the hands back down. Bend both legs, right knee outside of the left ankle, spiraling down, sitting back in between the heels. I'm gonna break it down quickly, just in case. Right leg as long, left foot steps over, twisting pose, option to bring the right heel towards the left bum, fold it in. Whatever you do, try and find a nice and long spine and open chest. Your neck should be long and your chin is parallel to the floor. Focus on your breathing. Feel free to keep the eyes closed or rested on one focus point. And then come back to the center and slowly twist over to the second side. Sit back upright, bring the hands behind you to unravel the legs. This time just stand your feet up in front of you Make sure you're sitting in about the center of the mat. And then from here, either use your hands for help to lay down or extend the arms forward and slowly roll your way down to the mat. It's just an option. You wanna come down safely and with control all the way onto the mat. And then once you're there, bring the feet closer to the bum. Feet are kind of hip distance apart and the knees stay parallel to each other. Press the feet into the ground, maybe also the elbows if you wish for a bit more support to lift the tailbone, slowly come up into a shoulder bridge. Maybe you wanna interlace the fingers behind the back, draw the shoulder blades together so you can pop the chest open. Bring the chin slightly down towards the chest. Lift the pubic bone up to the navel so you can really feel those groins lengthening. We've done a lot of stimulation, a lot of strengthening today on the core and the groins. And now I want to give a lot of space to all that energy to be spread evenly throughout the body. Breathing in fresh air, prana, life force. Good. Feel more breaths. And then release the hands. Come onto the tiptoes. You can press the elbows down again if that feels more supportive. Slowly roll your spine back down, vertebra by vertebra. Once you have arrived fully, walk your feet apart to the edges of the mat. Drop the knees in the center and place your hands back onto the belly or you can feel the warmth of your palms. Once again, connect to the breath, the rising and the lowering of the belly. And in your mind, you can imagine how you're inhaling a very warm, golden, yellowish light as you inhale, all the way through the nostrils, down the back of your throat, through your chest, into the belly where you feel that warmth of your palms, filling you from the inside, 
with this illuminating warm energy. And as you exhale, you can connect that sensation with kind of a gray energy. Exhaling anything that you don't need any longer, any stuck emotions, any used up breath, used up energy. Feel how it leaves the body as you let go on your exhale. You're exchanging all that energy in the body, nourishing and filling yourself up with every inhalation. Yeah, take another nourishing breath here. And then from here, bring the arms to the side. You can either extend the arms or keep them bent if that feels more grounded and then walk the feet back together. And from here, just drop both knees to one side in a very gentle way. We've done a lot of twisting today. You don't necessarily need to look for the most intense sensation now, but rather a releasing feeling, a relaxing feeling in your gentle twist good and then bring the knees back to center and then over to the second side very gently just drop the knees shoulders stay grounded face and neck relax And then bring the knees back to center. Pull one knee after the other up to the chest. Grab a hold of the shins or the knees with your hands. Rock a bit from side to side, massaging the lower back. And also rock a bit from front to back. So you feel like you're pulling your lower back a bit. It should feel very comfortable. If you want to roll along the spine as we did in the beginning, you can do that. Or maybe you want to lift the head up, nose between the knees, whatever feels good for you. And you can try and grab the back of your legs, maybe the thighs or the calves, and lift the bum of the ground and bring your knees closer to the elbows. It's a mini, mini plow pose. You don't have to go further. If it happens for you naturally, you can. But we just want to stay here for a moment. So your bum can be in the air. Take a couple of breaths. And then gently release any last movement that you need to feel relaxed. You can do it. You can do a happy baby or anything that feels like it was missing, anything that wants to be stretched or loosened up. And then take a moment to finish whatever you're doing. And then either straighten your legs for Shavasana pose as we did in the beginning, or if you want to take your relaxation, Supta Baddha Konasana, then bring the feet together, drop the knees out to the side to give space to your groins. Only assume this posture if it feels relaxing. If it gives you a lot of strain in the groins, then rather just extend your legs. You can bring the arms alongside the body, hands on the belly, or maybe arms overhead. And we're just taking a couple of breaths in whichever posture you have chosen for your relaxation. You're free to close the eyes, take a deep breath in through the nose. And sigh out through the mouth. And then just allow your breath to flow freely, naturally, calmly. Feel your muscles relax, your body relax, sinking deeper into the ground. A couple of moments, there's nothing to analyze or understand. You can just fully let go and relax. Enjoy a couple of nourishing breaths here. Good. And then from here, bring your arms onto the outside of the knees. If you have dropped them apart, if you have been in Shavasana, then just stand your feet up, bend the knees. And everyone roll onto one side in a mindful way. Maybe keep the eyes closed just for a little while longer. 
observing how you feel after this morning asana practice. And then press your hands into the ground. Come to sitting in a mindful way. Keep your eyes closed or close them one last time once you arrive. Maybe you want to sit with the legs crossed or on the heels, whatever feels best. And just for a moment, bring the hands back onto the belly. We connect to that energy in the center of your body, your solar plexus, energy center. Feel the warmth of the palms. Think back to that golden light of warmth. And feel how it illuminates you from the inside and how it permeates every part of the body and glows into the outside as well. Maybe even make a resolve that throughout this day, if you're struggling with the darker days or if you feel exhausted or challenged, to come back to this idea of this inner warmth that you carry within you, that inner light. And take a couple of nourishing breaths here and there mindfully just for yourself. And then join your palms together in front of the heart center, bow the forehead down to the fingertips as a sign of appreciation. Thank yourself for taking the time for this morning practice. Say thanks for the life that flows through you. And express gratitude for the teachings and the practice of yoga. Thank you so much for joining me. Open your eyes when you're ready. I hope you enjoyed this morning class. I'm gonna come closer to you. Uh, feel free to leave me any comments in the video later. The recording is going online now. Um, and make sure to check out our Living Grace Yoga Institute. We have a yoga teacher training coming up in January. It's a hybrid format, so you can join us from anywhere online. And then we meet in Sicily for a really beautiful, intensive week in person. Um, we also have retreats coming up. So make sure to check out the description box of the video. There are all, have all the links. And feel free to write us and connect. Have a wonderful day and see you soon.